Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 10th of August. There continues to be a collection of energy right at the top of your horoscope, the 10th solar house. But the most impressive entrance was from Mars, your co-ruler, right at the end of last week. Mars gives us a lot of self-confidence and drive, and you can articulate yourself in a very powerful way in the six weeks to come. But in the first half of this week, you still need to take a certain amount of care. Your personal expression, however hard you may have tried, may not quite have hit the mark as much as you would have liked in recent weeks due to a tense right angle between Saturn in your sign and Venus in this area of interaction with the world at large. And also this week, Mercury, which is in a very friendly part of your horoscope, is opposed by Neptune, which can lead to some misunderstandings around interactions with a partner or with friendships. But Wednesday's arrival of uh, Jupiter in your sector of friendships for the first time in 12 years is really a fantastic opportunity to really connect much better with other people in your situation. And that can show itself not just this week, but over the next 12 months. This is a much slower moving planet, but it's one that's traditionally linked with good fortune. And connecting with people can be something you can gain from tremendously during this time. Now you can be a little bit reserved sometimes, not always find it easy to put your best foot forward. You can also keep personal information about yourself very much close to your chest. But actually, in the second half of this week, you're going to find that you're shrugging off the rather limiting influence of Saturn on its uh, impact on Venus. And also, there's a wonderful new moon which occurs on Friday, where Venus goes side by side with the Sun and both are side by side with the Moon. Now, they're both going to be forging a fantastic link to Uranus. And this could lead to a major breakthrough in your career in the following four weeks. But it might not be exactly as you expect because Uranus has a kind of unexpectedness about it. And its unpredictability is one of its difficulties to deal with, but one of the things that makes it so fascinating. But in this angle with this new moon, it can help you to be much more in touch with what you want emotionally from the way you connect with the world at large. But in the background, there's Mars giving you that much more self-assurance, determination and willpower to focus on your goals and really go for them over the next month. So it is a fantastic new moon and this can be a real turning point this week in terms of all sorts of goals and ambitions. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.